Jed and wife Sydney Smock visited the Texas Tech campus starting March 27th to share the gospel with students. We're here to call students to turn away from sin, the biblical term is repentance, and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, who will deliver them and set them free from sin and give them eternal life. So just kind of putting them to shame for naming the name of Christ and not departing from iniquity claiming to be Christians and living the party animal lifestyle. And I blame some of this on pastors, Sunday school teachers, and parents who have taught their children defeat that they can't help but sin every day and thought, word, and deed. That is a lie from the pit of hell. No, 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 no. Look it up for yourself. Uh, uh, Question. So what if you're... Many students had different views on what Brother Jed and wife Sydney Smock had to share. I think it raises a lot of questions, which is good. People are thinking about things and talking about things. I've had a lot of really, really interesting conversations hanging out out here. They sort of have some twisted, some twisted views that they hang a lot of theology on just a couple of verses and not using the Bible to interpret the Bible and looking at the Bible as a whole. Um, so I, don't know, I just encourage people to read for themselves and see what they think. I feel like they're missing one element of the gospel and of this Christian walk. He ultimately sent his son to die for, to you know, carry the sin and die for us. Um, and, and that basically means that sin doesn't have a hold on us anymore um, in the sense that God is, is always going to be there with his unconditional love. Um, that doesn't matter if you sin, it doesn't matter if you fall short, because we do, because we're still human, you know, we're still bound with the spirit and the flesh, um, that he's never going to leave us. Jed and Cindy Smock had large crowds around them at all hours of the day to hear what they had to preach. Love the students, God loves them. They need to learn to love God. And they show their love for God by obeying God. All acts of sin are acts of selfishness. They're unloving acts. So they need to stop their sinning and follow Jesus.